Well, I think we've got another keeper here, guys. Well, it was good. That's bringing it uphill. Welcome, everyone. We're going to get this thing installed and talk about it on the other side. I hope you guys enjoy the video. This is the Ultra Toe truck crane with a hand winch from Northerns. And we have a 2,000 pound capacity. We can lift from five inches off the ground to 80 inches tall and the boom extends from 37 inches to 51 inches. It did come with 30 foot of stainless steel cable and everything that you see here. So I'll let you guys take a look at the installation and then we'll talk about this more when we get done. Let's open the box and see what's inside. Everything was pretty well packaged. All the crane parts was in the big box. In the small box we had the pedestal and the winch and the hardware. Now we get to put it together. For my frame underneath the cedar plank, I have used 3 16 channel, 3 inches wide by an inch and a half tall. I have the holes drilled so everything's going to fit in good. And I'm also going to put some gussets underneath here that way when we get lifted to the opposite side of the crane we don't try to bend the frame of the trailer. We're ready to put the board back on. pretty close. Now to mount this down I'm also using grade 8 bolts. Uh, these are three and a half inches long. That way everything should hold in pretty well for us. So the base is mounted. All the hardware is laid out here. The hardware looks real good guys. Let's see if we can start putting this thing together. This actually has a bearing on it. This slides down into our base here. There is a race inside as well. If you need to remove it, you can pull it up and out of the base and then put a cap on there. I I'm impressed with the fact that they put a bearing on the end of this.
We'll get everything loosely fitted up and then we'll tighten everything we need to. Let's see. Now this guy we have to get our two spacers in between, the pulley that will roll here for our cable, and then the bolt. simple task. I'm just going to go ahead and put the bolt through first. So we can get this guy hooked up to our cylinder. does have a set screw over here we can tighten to keep the crane from turning. cylinder up a little bit and put it, putting this bolt in first and then folding the boom back so we could get our two bushings in between the pulley and putting the bolt through there. And our winch for our cable just has some threaded bolt holes here on the back of the boom itself. I need to get this top one in after I get some of this cable out. We're almost there. Get everything tightened up. This is to aid you in swinging the boom. And we do have a pin for the handle. impressions is pretty good guys. The assembly went together real easy and we'll get everything tightened up. Let's go ahead and lift it up a little bit and see what it does. I do like the fact that I can operate this outside of the trailer. Okay. Let's 
going to fold down pretty small. And it will lock in place. Everything went together. I had no problems, no missing parts. Well, there we go, guys. I am glad to have this thing installed. I definitely have several uses in mind for it, and I think it's going to be exactly what we need for the little trailer here. And um, it did take a few hours to build the base for the trailer and to get everything mounted up for that aspect of it, but the rest of it. Uh, assembling what you actually get in the box, uh, that took about 30 minutes. Uh, the instructions was really thorough and easy to understand. Hopefully, if you're looking at one of these, stay tuned. We're going to put this thing to use and we will absolutely test it to its max. Thanks for watching. I hope some of the information helps you. I'll talk to you on the next one.